the University of Minnesota is known for making great strides in research and the Center for Genome Engineering just completed a big announcement. So I am joined right now by Dr. Brandon Moriarty to learn more about this. And I know you've been running this lab for 11 years. Yeah. Explain what y'all do there. Yeah, so we run a translational genome engineering lab where we take immune cells from patients and we reprogram their genetic code to make them better, faster, stronger for fighting cancer. And give us some kind of examples of the patient, the models, the things that you go through, what you're trying to do at the end of the day. Yeah, a lot of our work is preclinical. So we make new engineered cells and we test them for their ability to fight cancer. Sometimes we do this simply in a dish, attacking cancer cells. And then sometimes we use animal models where we implant human tumors and then see if we can eradicate them. And then we work with clinicians to translate these into actual patients for new treatments. Okay, and we have some video here from the lab to show people the work you're doing. But when we talk about cancer, is this all types of cancer, certain types? Yeah, we work on a broad spectrum of cancers. And our recent clinical trial that we just finished was for GI cancers. So like mm. colorectal, cholangial, uh, cancers of that type. And we know that those types of cancers have a reputation for being incredibly dangerous and ending life in many cases. Absolutely. I know you guys have had some breakthrough lately. Yeah, that's right. So we just finished kind of its first of its kind ever clinical trial using genome engineered uh, TIL or tumor infiltrating lymphocytes. So these are immune cells that are in your tumor trying to fight it but are failing. And so, oh, you yeah. pull them out of the actual tumor. That's right. We take parts of the tumor out of the patient. We isolate those immune cells that are trying to do their job. And we use CRISPR-Cas9 to get them supercharged. We put them back into the patients to fight their existing cancer. And this is in patients with very advanced uh, disease, stage four metastatic cancer in all the patients that we treated. Which is a place where you're not given a ton of hope traditionally. Correct, yeah. So a... to be working with someone who has an advanced case, I mean, this is pretty revolutionary. Absolutely. It's a first of its kind trial. You know, we treated 12 patients with highly advanced metastatic disease. Some of them saw benefit and one of them was actually completely cured of their metastatic disease and still cancer free two and a half years later. Okay, I know you are eyes on research and things like that, but do you ever let it hit you that that really helps someone? Absolutely, you know, when I started my career in cancer, I always said, you know, if I can help cure one patient, mm. that like is enough for me. <laughs> Obviously we want yeah. more, but you know, that really inspires us to get up every day and put in the extra time and hours that it takes to really get these things into patients that need it. Well, I thank you so much for talking about it and that we have a face to the research because we kind of hear a cancer researcher and it's going on, but thank you for breaking it down for us. And if people out there want to support this mission, how can they do that? Yeah, so we're starting a new clinical trial, even more advanced, probably better in patients, and it's a homegrown Minnesota trial. Okay. It's called Until It's Cured, and we're hoping to raise $5 million to fund the next trial that we think will cure even more patients of highly metastatic cancer, and it's going to be a basket or kind of a combination trial treating many different types of cancers outside of GI cancer, too, and that'll be here in Minnesota for Minnesota patients. Okay, so you're doing the fundraising. Is there a website people can go to? Yep. Uh, there's there's a website on the Center for Genome Engineering website on the U of M where you can donate or learn more about our cause and our progress. Thank you so much for what you and your lab are doing. Absolutely. We appreciate you.